Wow. Getting the wedding nails ready. We're gonna do some lace. Gonna do the glitter. Gonna do some pearls. Paris nails, her little unicorn, make it happen. This bling is <laughs> wow. just finished therapy. It was good. <laughs> I was tired. I got my three people back. The food after on. Um, I'm tired. I'm tired and exhausted and this month is already tiring me and exhausting me. I have so much to do and I'm just trying to think. I'm not trying to go too far ahead of myself. Um, but you know, Oh, I love being busy, but then I get overwhelmed and I'm like, Trish, you need to calm down. I just want to do a lot. I don't know. Does anyone else struggle with this that you just want to do so much in your life? <laughs> you just want to do it all at once. That's literally me. I'm like moving and decorating my house, new house in my head already. And then like, I have like a whole web series I got to shoot next week and then I'm getting married this weekend. And then I have to organize things and find things. I'm making, I make lists constantly. I probably write on down on my little notes on my phone probably every 10 minutes I'm having a new note. It's exhausting. Is this someone else like this? Is this a condition? Are there other weirdos like this? Why am I walking so far? I walked so far. I felt so far thinking I needed exercise. And I immediately regret it. Yep, but I'm exercising. That's the thing. I called it the day I hurt my knee. I knew I was gonna be hella depressed about not being able to dance or working out. And it's like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm fine, I'm happy, I'm busy. I just really wish I could freaking work out. It sucks. And I work out the way I want to, which is dancing. <sighs> which isn't gonna happen anytime soon. It's probably gonna be another couple months before I can dance again. And that's really pissing me off, if I'm gonna be honest. Also, these pants are way too long and they're my favorite pants and I keep stepping on them. And all I keep thinking is I'm gonna really fray these. Okay. Oh, we're in a different car. Oh my god, it's so bougie. Oh, we're in a different car. Oh gosh, you guys, I am just. I ran into a girl in the elevator. She was, um, she looked like somebody, right? She looked like someone of uh, importance. And uh, I was like, I don't know. She just looked like someone I knew. Um, and she was Trisha, and I was like, hi. I've done this so many times. I have known the person. And um, and I'm like, hi, nice to meet you, I'm Trisha. And they're like, yeah, I'm this person. I was like, oh, so I didn't want to be that person again. Um, so I was like, hi, good to see you. I always say this now. I always say good to see you now, because if I've already met you, I mean, the thing is, I don't expect everyone to remember me. How the hell am I supposed to remember everyone I meet? It's especially in LA, especially in social media, influencer worlds, and networking. Like, everyone meets people, and you just forget, right? Like, you just forget, unless you're a fan of that person or you know that person. But, like, I just, I don't know. I'm mean, like, maybe I met this person. She looked like someone I could have met before. I don't know. And then she's like, I'm like, good to see you. She's like, good to see you. And she's like, this is, and she introduced me to the person she was with. And I was like, okay, cool. And then she goes, yeah, like, and then she kind of introduced herself. She's like, I'm friends with this person who does your hair. And I was just like, hey, which one? Like, a lot of people do my hair. And I was like, which which person is the person? Colors my hair, styles my hair, blows my hair. There's like all these people do my hair. And then she said, and I was like, oh yeah. But then when she, the person she said doesn't do my hair that often. 
So I, and I definitely, I mean, I love the girl to death, but I don't really hang out with her outside of her doing my hair just because I'm a weirdo and I have literally no friends and I like to be alone, even though I hate complaining about being alone, but I'm also alone all the time. So I was just like, yeah. So I don't think I've ever even met her, but what was weird, these Broncos are sick. Wow, I want one of those. Oh, is that a, I think it's a Bronco. Those Broncos are cool. I want a Bronco. There's so many cars I want. I want a Bronco. I want one of those Jeep pickup trucks. I want a white Range Rover. I want a black Porsche. <laughs> I'm like, it's so crazy how many cars I want. And I'm like, I don't know why I have like a car addiction. It's very weird. And it's like random cars. They're not even like the coolest cars in the world. And I'm just like, I want this. I don't know. A black Porsche. Like that's basic, but it's cool. I, you know what? I saw Wayne Brady drive a black Porsche. Um, actually it was for like Davis vlog. We met him at like near the, uh, Antonian's house. Um, I love that combo, the white with the red seats. I used to have that in my program. Um, but he had this really like expensive portion. Some portions are hella cheap, which is fine. No shade. Um, there's like cheap versions of porches, but he had like this really expensive version. And I was like, hella nice. This hotel too that is right across the street from my therapist is the hotel me and just you know, when we came back from Maui. And I always think of that because that was like the best time of my life was going to Maui and going on vacation with him. And then I say think that and then I get sad. Here's the thing guys, people act like, okay, if you moved on or whatever, like you can still get sad. And the thing with my relationship with him, like I was just talking about this in therapy because like I've moved on. Like I, cause he's my therapist. Like, oh, so you look at his stuff. I'm like, sometimes I look at his stuff now. I used to, I used to not be able to, but now when I look at his stuff like it, and I said this in therapy, I was like, but it's almost like it's like a person I don't know. It's like, it's just like another YouTuber I would watch that I don't know. Like for instance, Remy Ashton, like I love watching her and, but I don't know her. So when something like happened, like, I mean, I met her and she's really nice, but I don't know her like personally. And so that's how I feel with him. I feel like it's someone I don't know. Um, and that's weird. I don't know. And I don't check all the time, but sometimes I'll like randomly check and just see how, like, just like Anthony Michael Hall, my first boyfriend ever, like he's engaged now. And I don't know why I'm like so fascinated with like the progress of this relationship because I remember seeing him like nine years ago, um, like maybe a year after we officially ended things. And I saw him, we used to live in the same town and it was a small beach town. So it was like really small. It wasn't like Hollywood or, you know, the Valley or whatever. It was like a small beach town and we were both Catholic. So we went to the same church and we wouldn't, I wouldn't always see him. And like, I was trying to go to like different times that he wouldn't go to. And I think he started doing that too. Um, so I, we saw each other when I had a Sunday night mass, just a random time that neither of us had ever gone to. And he was with this girl and I was like, oh, okay, let's see how long she lasts. And now they've been together like nine years and they just got engaged. And I was like, which is everything and awesome. And I'm honestly, I'm glad I'm happy for him because I think of all my exes besides being like violent and angry. <laughs> like, I feel like we were the most similar as terms of like wanting love and wanting like it just he didn't see it with me obviously I was freaking 18 years old or whatever so it'd be weird if he did see that with me but um like he was someone I related to most mentally and emotionally like I just knew he needed like love and he wanted to feel loved and he wanted to have that family and that marriage and like he wanted to be seen as like wholesome even though he wasn't and he wanted to be seen as normal even though he wasn't quote unquote normal and neither am I but like I so desperately too want to be seen as like just a normal person I just want to be normal and I'm not we can't change that so I just felt like we related the most and I, I felt him the most as far as like, I felt him, but no, I felt him like, I just, I, I don't know. I just like kind of understood him the most of anybody that I was with. So I don't know. I keep up with him and it doesn't mean I'm in love with him at all. Like, oh, no, we actually like try to like hook back up like a year later. Like, I think we talked about this. I think it was called like my broken, my heart is broken or something. It was like a really old, like it's one of my first crying videos ever on YouTube. Yes. That's my debut, but it was something like, I think it's called my shattered broken heart and it's still up. And I was talking about, at the time, I had just started seeing this guy named Roger, who was an actor. And um, we had seen each other for a couple months, and I really liked him. But, like, I didn't think it was serious, and it wasn't going anywhere. Like, it just, that's just what it was, and that's what the whole relationship was. But it was pretty much just sex. But I still thought I was, like, falling in love with him. And then I went back to Anthony Michael Hall, and we had hooked up. And I felt really gross about it. And I, that's when I did the video when I came back. I felt really gross. I thought, I don't know, it just didn't feel, like, right, um... I don't know. So the, the, I guess the point is, is I had the chance to go back and continue to sleep with him or go on dates with him or whatever. And I just didn't because it just, I was like, it just wasn't someone. It's just, that just happens. I think even with like Sean, even who I love as like a friend, like 
you know, I, I would, you would think, I would think, especially for me, that like going back to one of my exes would be like, ex like I would, I would want them back. Like I feel like everybody thinks that about me, and I feel like I think that about myself until I see the ex again, um, and then you just realize like that's. I'm a different person, they're, they're a different person, we didn't grow together, we gave up on each other, like, it just, there's something that just ends that spark. I don't know, I don't know what it is. I've never gone back to an ex and, like, felt a spark again, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, and it sucks, it sucks, because you already have, like, a past in a relationship with that person, so you kind of wish you could do that, but, yeah, I've never... Um, that's cool. That's cool. And you know what? I'm also at the point, like, I'm, I'm in a good place right now. So I'm like also at the point that like, I'm fine, but yeah, I've been doing therapy and I, it's exhausting. Therapy is exhausting. I like therapy. It, it's good. Like, it's kind of like going to the gym and you're like, okay, I'm, I'm glad I went, but it's, it's kind of just exhausting at the end of the day. And I was exhausted talking about my problems and my feelings. I'm like, can I just not talk about this? I just want to focus on like being happy in the moment because I've been happy and I just don't want to like... And then I was, then I leave therapy and I see that freaking hotel that we stayed at when we got back from Maui, which I thought was like the coolest thing ever because we were just in a week in Maui and he still wanted to spend another night with me. And I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. I found my soulmate. <laughs> and then you're reminded of that. And then you're like, oh my God, that's so sad. But I don't know. Anyways. Um, okay. So yeah, I'm going to go see this place on Highland. It's a pop-up shop temporarily. Only here for a couple days. Um, it's called the Big Kahuna Burger. I think it's going to be packed. It's a, it, it was just announced like on the news today. <laughs> My mom actually told me, shout out mom for telling me about this. Uh, Big Kahuna Burger is a fictitious, uh, fast food place that was in Pulp Fiction. I thought originally when I read it, cause my mom texted me earlier this morning cause she's not on the news. I thought it was Jack Rabbit Slims, which would have been hella cool, but it's just Big Kahuna Burger. And when I looked online, it looks like it's just the Hawaiian burger. And it's so funny cause I have a Hawaiian shirt on and I'm dressed as one of Quentin Tarantino's characters, Clint Booth. So I thought, okay, why not go check this out? I have some time. It's one o'clock. I'm meeting Cedric later tonight around 5.30. So I have a few hours to go. And you know what? I wanted to go get me a Frappuccino from Starbucks. I think I deserve it. And also, Okay. Also, this van just stopped and asked this. He just like stopped and asked to this guy, like a parking, like a meter made guy, giving someone like a car ticket, like a parking, parked car ticket. Asking like all these questions, like just move. Oh. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to park there. Like what the heck? And I'm still behind him. I should get around him. But anyways, I don't know. And then we we're talking about. We talked a lot about weight today in therapy. I have a really unhealthy relationship with my weight at the moment, and I think it's because I haven't been able to exercise and dance. It's very bizarre. When I was dancing, I felt good about my body. I felt healthy, and I don't feel healthy anymore. It's very weird. Yeah, I want to go get a frappuccino, so go figure that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Life is weird. Life is kooky. This Charlie's Angel poster, I know I've talked about this in lots of vlogs already, but it legit pisses me off. It's, it looks like the freaking X Factor. They don't look beautiful and glamorous, and they are beautiful and glamorous, so it just, it pisses me off to no end. That poster is just awful. Like, that looks like a reality show. I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know why that poster makes me so angry. I see posters all the time for movies, and I just hate that. Whoever did the marketing, I wanted, I don't know how you'd even get into that. I would love to do marketing for movies and stuff. I think that'd be such a fun job. It'd be a lot of pressure because you have to get approval on my thing now even as I work for myself and I'm my own entity and I'm my own brand and talent and all that. I still sometimes have to get like not approval because like what I say can go but like I still get weird like pitching sometimes ideas to people that need for instance like my podcast like The Dish with Trish like they didn't love the name, but I didn't love the names they came up with. So at the end of the day, I want out because of my podcast. I'm like, it's going to be The Dish with Trish because that was the name of my original podcast years ago on SoundCloud or wherever. I forget what that which I wasn't really making money on, which is fine, but me and this bus are literally sharing lanes right now. Oops, my bad. <laughs> um, oh my God, I wish I knew, I, I could probably go on my emails and look, I have to look one day and find the names of the podcast that they came up with because it was really awful. But even like, I did the image. I like took the picture of the, like it's me with the number one and holding a mic stand. And it was, it was based off Howard and Howard Stern image that I loved. It was like promo pics for his radio show. And, um, so even sending them that, I was like nervous. I was like, you know, I don't know. If they're gonna... But I don't know. I mean, I like when it's all on me, I love making my own decisions and I know what's good and what's not. Even my manager, I was, I was pitching him this idea. I'm doing this. Like I want to do these, this merch for charity. 
and it could be a little controversial, but in the end, it, it's like, it does good for charity. And like, I don't have to convince him, but like, even my podcast room in my new house, I want everything pink. I'm like, can you get me a pink neon sign? I want pink walls. I'm going to get a pink couch. I'm going to like bedazzle my microphone pink. Like, that's the theme of the dish with Trish because like I, I have this picture in my house that Shane got for me for Christmas like literally like five years ago maybe even longer and um it's like pink and it's in the style of, like the Anna Nicole show and stuff it's really cool and um so I've always just kind of had that like envision and then I want like little like pink bean bags around like the couch and stuff for guests but then like bean bags if like people come with them or whatever the comfy big kind or like inflatable furniture or something just like unique or something um and like even like pitching that he's like I don't know if pink's the move I'm like pink is the move so sometimes I'm like really confident and then sometimes I'm like I don't know maybe you're right and I, and I do I love hearing people's like feedback also like I know I play with my hair a lot but it's honestly because I have hair do you guys remember when this was like literally like that long like the fact that I have hair to toss around is 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 very exciting it's little but it's mighty and I'm very like this is the longest like this is all my real hair right here there's no extensions just all real hair I'm like okay length coming through I'm very very excited about that um it's bleaching y'all if you can stop bleaching I'm cutting this bus off I'm not cutting it off but this bus probably is like girl move your ass <laughs> pick a lane buses are annoying That's the thing I hate most about living in cities is like these city buses they're just hella annoying I get it they're good I mean we need them but Okay, so let's just see how long this line is. If it's insane, I, I can't be bothered. I just can't. As much as I want to see this, I mean, at least if anything, we'll just like do a little drive-by and, and see. But I love Pulp Fiction. It's one of my all-time favorite movies. And that is a tasty burger. Am I the wrong location? <sighs> Or is this just not very known yet? Maybe it's not known. It's like, ah, oh, that car took such a good spot. and there's definitely no themed. Okay, we're gonna investigate further. This guy's like looking at me as if I'm like parking next to him like, I'm like, what? All right, I'm gonna go check this out. I don't think this is it. Okay. I'm not the only one disappointed. Not today, <laughs> it's tomorrow. It's October 30th and Octo uh, October 31st. And it's supposed to be my diet days tomorrow, so I don't know if I can even do this, but a lot of people were confused and concerned. And this man is huge. He looks like a security guard or something, or like a bouncer, and he's just, he stood me, watching me, watching me park tonight, watching me back out. Okay, well, you know what? Now I'm gonna get a frappuccino. I was like, <laughs> there was so much parking here. I was so confused. It's tomorrow at 11, which I could probably do, but also I don't want to do. life this is the life of, of, of a quentin tarantino fan and a vlogger just <sighs> i don't know it's been a minute since i did my crap i don't know i don't know i have so so many reservations should i go and perform mutilations homeless guy with a huge bag but I kind of want that huge bag it's literally the size of his body and it's everything he has so much shit in there I have a huge bag this is from free people New York mm -hmm. I love this bag so much I feel like I'm a journalist with a huge bag with nothing in it this is the thing about therapy it kind of bums you out like I like therapy it did help me trust me when you're already so bummed out nothing could bum you out more so therapy is kind of cool for that um but now I'm like <laughs> my thoughts and in my heads and it, uh, it's a scary place to be. 
I'm really upset that this Big Kahuna Burger is not open right now. I should wear my Pulp Fiction outfit. No, that's too much. Yeah. Is it too much? I don't know. These are the things that are going in my head. Should I go and perform mutilations? Uh -huh. Horace, for those of you who don't know. Mm -hmm. The latest thing I'm obsessing over is Beetlejuice. I'm obsessed with Beetlejuice at the moment. Uh, I saw the musical in New York and I can't stop thinking about it and I want to do my whole bedroom in my new house with Beetlejuice theme and I think that might be a little extreme trish, especially because it's kind of dark and it has death undertones to it and it's probably not a good thing, but it's all I'm thinking about and it's all I've been watching and I know it's Halloween, Halloween's coming up in a couple days, but, and so I'll be past the mark. People are going to be like, ah, Halloween is like a month ago, but I still really want to do it. Call me crazy. That guy's hot. I literally just stared like a crazy person to him. I'm like, <laughs> he's kind of hot. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm gonna go get a frappuccino and like chill. Or should I, not, should I just get the frappuccino? I don't know. It probably make me feel better. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. This is what's happened. I'm stressed after therapy. Ah! And I really love my therapist. I really, really love him. But. Frappuccino. I don't care. I'm getting a caramel, a frappuccino because that's what I love. That's what I live for. I'm not supposed to turn left here, but I just turned left here. So. Breaking all the rules. Can I have something sweet too? Oh my god. I just can't even, can't even control myself sometimes. I have a pumpkin cream cheese muffin. It's settled. It's settled. I don't want to Hi. What's your today? Um, can I get a medium caramel frappuccino? Is it going to caramel frappuccino with me with that? Yes, please. What else can I get? Can I also get a pumpkin cream cheese muffin? Oh, I'm sorry, we don't have those at the moment. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, do you have pumpkin bread? Yeah. Okay, I'll have that. Do you want that one up? Uh, sure. Okay. Is that complete your order? Yeah. It's gonna be 770, thank you. Thank you. Uh, no, pumpkin cream cheese muffin. Oh my gosh, did you guys see Ben Affleck? I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. But like, he like, he was drunk coming out of a Halloween party. He was stumbling. He stumbled back, it's on TMZ. He stumbled backwards. I've been drunk, but I don't think I've ever stumbled backwards. That's hella drunk. It was good. Oh my god, you remembered. Yeah, <laughs> How have you been? Uh, you know, yeah. shit, different day. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah, same. <laughs> How come we just have so many bananas? You wanna? <laughs> no, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> but why? People just take them? Well, I mean, they buy them. We they just do? Them here. Why do you keep them outside, though? Bananas were born outside. <laughs> okay, that's logic. That's some good logic. <laughs> All right, use. Oh, and I was gonna say thank you for. Uh, my girl got a whole bunch of subscribers. Did she? Like followers out there. So oh, good. Okay, yeah, good. So that's pretty cool. I appreciate awesome. it. Awesome. How you guys doing? We're good. We're good. Man, we just was in the studio until like 4 a.m. last night. Damn. Like, knocking these songs out. Wow. We were at uh, Ultrium, so I mean, it's, it's pretty chill. Oh, that's everything. Yeah, just awesome. Getting ready to. I don't know, just make videos, release shit. Yeah, that's awesome. So cool. Well, I'm glad I helped. Uh, yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, of course. You. Good to see you too. Should I go? And perform. So weird to see myself with roots. I can't get used to it. I have gray hair coming. I feel like I should get some highlights put in that. What do you think? I should let it keep going. Gradual. 
my right. Oh, I just stabbed my ear drop with my fingernail. Oh. I'm like looking in there right now. I'm not supposed to look in. I just like looking in. My chin looks so fat in this angle. Hi. <laughs> can style it more when the extensions aren't up here. So excited for this caramel frap. Thank you very much. That guy's so cute. He's got a girlfriend. But he's so cute. I have a fiance. Mm -hmm. They're so sweet there. They're really nice at this one. He's so nice. Oh my god. This is on Hollywood and Highland. Oh no, it's not Hollywood and Highland. Oh, my god. It's, it's Highland and Willoughby. Oh, it was called the Hollywood and Highland one. But it ain't. This is so good. And they make really good drinks there. To me, all Starbucks kind of taste the same, but that one has like, that's really refreshing. I was like, okay. I'm through Starbucks. Yeah, I'm finally going to see Sunny tonight. Oh my God, it's been a week. No, it's been like a week and a half since our tour. Very, very sad about it. <clears throat> but we're going to have dinner and a movie tonight. I'm so excited. Usually we just do a movie and no dinner because <coughs> being shirtless on tour, he was like on a really strict diet. He's always in good shape, though. He's a dancer, and he works out every day, so he's always in good shape, but... We're gonna have our sushi tonight. So oh, I hate when cars just dip their noses so far out. Oh, this is warm. Oh. <gasps> this is like a little blanket. Oh. Mm. You should always get warm. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking soft too. Mm. Mm. I was a good decision. so soft and moist. People hate the word moist. I love it. Oh. And then... Food is so good. year went.
so quickly. The older you get, it goes by even faster. Oh my god. That was beyond deliciousness. Wow. So, so good. So I have some time. I'm gonna go home and chill. I love when you just go home and sit. It's such a special time of day. <laughs> I was talking about, oh. Angel, my hairdresser and I were talking about it. Oh. He had like two hours in between clients. He came to do my hair like, was it the day of my show? I don't know. One of these days recently. He came to do my hair at like 7.30. So he had like two hours in between. So I'm just going to go home and sit. Like, that's the best. Especially when you're all dressed for the day. You already know your outfit and stuff. I have three hours to go home and sit. This is so good. Okay, sorry. I don't think you wanted to see me sipping. Mm. It's just refreshing. Anyways. Oh, and I had pumpkin on my lip the whole time. Thanks for telling me, assholes. Well, I love dressing as Brad Pitt. I feel cooler. I feel more put together. I feel fat. I wish I had the Brad Pitt body. therapist trying to help me through this fat talk but I need to just work out and I can't work out I even have the same I'm gonna show you guys I have the same shoes as Brad Pitt and once my time in Hollywood these are the moccasins he wore can you see Okay, down to the freaking shoes. Oh, and my belly. Did you fake my belly yesterday? I'm feeling like a stuffed little sausage, and it is not good. I do not like to feel like a stuffed little sausage at all. Mm -mm. 